Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another episode of Overwatch, but today we're doing something a little different. You may notice something different just from the title screen here. That's right, Doomfist has been released. That's right, the beast is unleashed as some people would say. Now before we really get into the Doomfist analysis, uh, I want to quickly say that I, I've had a little bit of time to test him out in training, but I don't know. First impressions, not really huge on him, but that's okay. Today, we're going to take a look at him in the hero gallery to look at some of his unlocks and whatnot, and then we're going to uh, play with him against AI to kind of show off some of his moves and get an idea of how his idea, his abilities work and that's going to be our video today instead of the usual comp game so next time when we uh play overwatch we'll be back to our regular comps so let's get started with the hero gallery unlocks because i'm sure you guys want to get to the action and so getting the boring stuff out of the way is actually not a bad idea so let's first take a look at skins so this is his default skin as we can see E here in all of its glory and then we have Daisy which basically looks like uh, remastered purple instead which I, I, I rather dig you guys know there's a reason why I'm called the purple Sherman uh, then we have Lake which is the same but blue and his trunks have now gone blue I believe planes very nice sunset Leopard. Now we're talking. Now we're looking like Shaka Zulu. Painted. Interesting idea. Uh, definitely strikes fear in the heart of my enemies. Caution. Very interesting. He almost looks robotic. Which is weird, because I'm pretty sure he's not supposed to be robotic. Well, in this skin he does, anyway. Uh, Eren? Wow, he actually really gives a vibe of... What's that fighter from... I think it's Tekken? Don't quote me on that. The Jax, the big robot guy. Doomfist really gives me that kind of reminder. Anyway, continuing on. Avatar? Fairly interesting. Kind of reminds me of uh, Arissa, the, the, the girl that built Arissa, in a way. Uh, spirit. Ooh, me likey the spirit. He actually legit looks like he's from the movie Avatar with Spirit. The actual Avatar skin, no, but Spirit, yes. And uh, there you go. That's that's the skins for Doomfist. Really, the only one that stands out to me is Spirit. But even still, meh. Emotes. So we got our heroic emote. And then we have fake out. Very nice. Next we have intimidate. Very nice. Ready for battle. Take a knee. And thumbs down. Nothing real special there. Victory poses. The typical heroic. Intense. Nice. Seismic slam. And finally, superior. Really, again, nothing special there. Voice lines. Try me. Combo breaker. Don't get back up. Go and sit down. I haven't even started. K.O. One punch. All I need. Man. Spare me the commentary. Talk to the beast. You're not bad, but not good either. Damn. You must be joking. Maybe just a little. So there you go. There's the voice lines. Really, nothing nothing classic or that really stands out like keep calm and trace her on, you know? Sprays is not really important. I mean, we could take a look for, you know, half a second, I suppose. Uh, what have we got? We've got punch. 
All right. Looks interesting. So there's the cute, which, uh, I mean, it looks okay. And then finally, the other type of spray that I, I'm actually really into, which is 8-bit pixel. Nice. And finally, the highlight intros. There's the heroic meteor. That was underwhelming. One punch. And finally, uppercut. All right, I'm not gonna lie. Uppercut is kind of, kind of cool. Not mind blowing. Kind of cool. And his weapon in golden almost looks exactly the same as default, if I'm going to be honest. So, uh, there you have it. There's the unlocks for Doomfist. Now let's uh, go ahead and play a little practice against the AI and see how we fare. We're going to go ahead and play easy so we can get a sense of the abilities and whatnot for uh, Doomfist. Actually, I'm thinking of the wrong one. I need to actually go training. Actually, no. What we need to do is we need to do a custom game. Let's see. Game browser. Create game. Uh, we will go invite only, just so we have the sake uh, let's go ahead and add in some AI easy count just for team two so we'll be one V alling them so let's add that and uh, yeah let's go ahead and start so we can get a feel for Doomfist and his abilities. We're going to be playing Horizon Lunar Colony. So, Doomfist, interestingly enough, is an attacker. Now, looking at Doomfist, you'd almost assume he's another tank or possibly even defense character. What bothers me here is... The obvious problems that we kind of have with Doomfist. For me, anyway. Some of you might disagree with me, otherwise, you know, some of you might also agree with me, but the obvious problems for me with Doomfist is. The obvious problems with Doomfist is, well, this. As we can see, his main fire is four rounds, which is basically shotgun. And all of his abilities are essentially up in your face rounds. Now, I can kind of understand a little bit about how Doomfist could be used in potentially some other ways. However, it's just too in-your-face up close for Doomfist. Now, the biggest problem with this is not so much his abilities themselves, which for me, I don't really care for his abilities, but the biggest thing for me with Doomfist being an attacker and his abilities being point-blank is his lack of health. 250 health. Not ideal in the slightest. I mean, hell, we can't even get kills with AI bots. That's how bad this is. Like, we, we honestly, like, can't get really even close enough to deal with Roadhog, who is more of a close-range kind of ordeal. Now, that's, that also raises another very good point in regard to Doomfist as well, is that some of his abilities, if not a lot of his abilities, 
actually cause uh, actually cause you to knock your enemies back which actually if you ask me is another big problem with Doomfist because he's so point-blank so all in all you've heard my grievances with Doomfist you've seen a little bit and so now let's actually get an actual in-depth look at his abilities we can see here Doomfist, his difficulty is only three stars, which, funny enough, let me check. Diva Kun. Diva Kun is only two. Now, I almost feel as if Diva is a little bit harder to play than is actually, well, hmm. I don't know. I just, it's just weird. That Doomfist is a attacker with such little health, three star difficulty. Anyway, let let's stop complaining. So here we have obviously his abilities. So first we can see the hand cannon, which is basically his main weapon, short range weapon with spread reloads automatically. Again, you only have four shots in a clip, and they it doesn't do a lot of damage, and basically it's a shotgun spread. You've got his ultimate, which is the Meteor Strike. Press triangle to leap up into the air, move the targeting circle, then press R2 to strike the targeted area. So you've seen that earlier when I tried to get both Roadhog and Zarya at the same time. And while, yes, we didn't get a hit where we came down directly on top of somebody, it didn't seem to even do a lot of damage for being on the outskirts, which I get it. If you're on the outskirts of it, it shouldn't do a lot of damage, but still... I don't feel as if it's as strong as it should be. Seismic Slam, leap forward and smash the ground. We did that a couple of times. Didn't really seem to affect the enemy at all, but then again, we'll probably have to wait until we actually get attacked by a Doomfist to really know what it's like on the other end of Seismic Slam. Rising up a uppercut, knock an enemy into the air. Not that useful. If anything, it's a hindrance because if your whole team is like firing on a Mercy and... Doomfist uppercuts into the air. Well, now she's not getting hit. She basically just got safety temporarily. I could see Rising Uppercut being used, however, to knock enemies off the map, which in theory could actually be a legitimate strategy here. Then we have the Rocket Punch for L2. Hold to charge, then release to launch forward and knock an enemy back. Damage will increase if an enemy hits the wall. Now, I don't think... While I'll admit Rocket Punch is pretty useful in that regard, I don't think it works on Bastions. Therefore, kind of sucks uh, in that regard because that would be kind of a really good Bastion counter strat, but these things happen. And of course, perhaps with the Rocket Punch, you could even almost one-shot Mercy or Ana. And then finally, his passive ability of the best defense, dealing damage with abilities, creates temporary personal shields. <sighs> Again, him only having, what, 250 health? Not really... Him having 250 health is not really that beneficial for, you know... Yeah, see, we just came down on Zarya. Actually, that did a lot of damage. A lot more damage than I thought it was going to do, if I'm being honest. But still, I I don't know. I just don't think he pays off. He feels too weak. Okay, we soloed Zarya, but that was a bit too hard for what this thing really is, if I'm being honest. But yeah, as I said, you know... Dealing damage with abilities to give him personal shields really is not all that useful. I mean, he's got so little health that the abilities in the first place is not really all that. And the... It's not really all that. And the... Uh, and if, if they were to have done this differently where doing damage with Doomfist gives a random ally nearby a personal shield, it would have been great. 
but unfortunately, you know, you can't have everything, and that might have been a little bit overpowered. So there you go. Uh, there's a little bit of the the Doomfist show off. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm interested to see what maybe you guys think in terms of potential playstyles, maybe suggestions on strats or how he could be useful. But at the end of the day, don't count on me never playing D.Va again for Doomfist. Thank you guys for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next episode of Overwatch where we will return to comp. And perhaps people in comp will prove us wrong with Doomfist by dominating us. See you all next time.